pretty much ready to do the floor. I'm doing a French pattern with the travertine here. And what I did is I made sure that everything is flat this way and flat that way. And the flat part is going to be already chalked the line going straight here for the first um, row. And then same thing here. And so what I'll do is I'll have all straight cuts here. And I actually, I don't have to cut anything because you can see I, I got them all where it's level there. So my cuts will be on the left and then the back, which the left will be here. Most of it's going to be behind the vanity, behind the toilet, and behind the tub. And same thing behind the tub. So you won't see those cuts as bad as if I was to cut here where you would see it walking in. All right, here's the floor. We dry fitting it right now. Dry fitting it because we had to cut all those at the edge and some of those on the side and put my holes for the tub, water lines, vent for the heat. And I had to cut the toilet flange. I cut that one twice and it cracked on me twice so I epoxied the little crack. It was just a small crack. All right, I just started putting the tile down. I accidentally got rapid set, thin set, so it's drying. It's, it's been like two hours and it's, or an hour and a half. It's already drying and it dries in two, so not a big deal, but just gotta work faster. I got everything over here so I could just grab them and put them over there. So this uh, thin set dries in two hours. You can grow out in two hours, it says, because it's rapid set. So I could probably walk on this, no problem. It's been about almost two hours. So that's pretty cool about it. It's just you gotta go really fast. If you don't go fast and stuff dries so quick and you got a tile that you gotta align better, <laughs> good luck. All right, just finished the floor, except for the last tile over there, which I gotta do a grinder cut. So I just left that one for tomorrow because I can barely reach over there. Glad I'm done, finally. This was a pain in the butt, this design. This uh, French pattern's no joke. Ah. Oh. I have a little bit of dyslexia, so it gets me, <laughs> it's just mind boggling how, how much work it is to do this. I get everything backwards, so this just took me a long time to do, but I'm glad it's over. And if anyone's actually doing French pattern, here's the uh, printout. If without this, I, I wouldn't have been able to do this design at all. Uh, I, I lost track of where I was so many times and I had to go back. I probably looked at this probably over 500 times. We just cleaned the wall and the floor from any extra thin set that spilled through the cracks. We used a grout file to clean out anything that's high. Be careful this tool does, can chip the towel so you gotta be gentle. So like right here is a little high spot. And right here I'm gonna get that free so the the grout will actually get in there all right so whenever you're doing a tile travertine marble any natural stone you have to seal that I'm gonna use a 511 impregnator sealer you have to seal the tile before you grout over it if you don't and I'm gonna seal it probably twice if you don't seal it all of the um, the grout will stick to everything I mean it's gonna stick no matter what but um, this will help clean it up, clean up better. Because uh, if not, you know, this is natural stone, all that grout's gonna wanna stick in to all of these little pits and stuff. And I actually wanna see these little pits and stuff. I don't want them to be filled. All right, now I have to do my last tile over there. I gotta go and grind out. I'm just gonna do a box because you're not gonna see it. It's gonna be under the sink. All right, the mosaic tile's done. Now I was going to use a, like a Schluter trim piece at the top. I think it would have looked a little better. I didn't have enough. They were out of stock at Home Depot. It's the only place I know to get it. But because this is like a real rock, it doesn't look bad from the top, especially where they cut it. It's just real shiny. So what I'm thinking to do is grout it and see how it looks because the grout is going to show here on every seam. But if it doesn't look so bad, then I'll just cock this joint and leave it like that and then paint the wall. But if it looks bad, what I'm gonna do is grab some more mosaic tile, go up another two, 
and then I'll put that on C2 will give me just enough to clear. See that? I sealed the grout twice, but I'm ready to grout. But all these little pits, a lot of people will fill them in with the grout. If you got any crystals or any shiny sparkling crystals inside that you want to keep, you have to, well, I'm taping them up because I want to keep them. Um, we'll see if this method works, if it messes with my, I don't think it'll mess with the, the sponge grout, uh, um, sponge, grout sponge, but just make sure, I'm just making sure all the ends are down because it, it, if it hit the end, it'll want to pull up the tape and then you have to stop every so often to fix that. So I'm gonna try this method out and see if I'm able to keep a lot of these uh, holes from getting filled in. I actually kind of like them. To, to me, it gives it texture and it gives it uh, the unique look to the rock. See like right here is a nice white crystal. So I put in a little niche trim, Schluter trim, and uh, corners are pretty good. I 45 them. This one's a little bit off, but if I pull it down a little bit, it's in there. So I can remember when I put the uh, thin set to push this down a little bit. It should be good. All right, just finished cutting my tile here. I already laid this one pre-mixed thin set and now I'm going to mix up some rapid set thin set for the natural stone here this is just laid in there I cut uh, the width a little wider and then I have these laid in the inside on the sides it's looking really good all right just finished the rapid set thin set on this niche here it's pretty good Came out real nice. Pretty happy with the results. Still not dry yet. Yeah, it's looking real good. You can see some of the crystals in there. Like right there. It's pretty cool. And we're gonna have the chandelier. It's gonna sparkle. It's gonna sparkle all this travertine crystal. It's gonna look pretty cool. Alright, so we're using a non-sounded grout because why because our joint is 1 8 or it's actually 1 16 but a lot of them opened up to about 1 8 inch grout line so 1 8 inch and lower needs to be non-sanded so we're using the color platinum all right i'll try to get this on camera but you see how the pits are filled in a little bit right there with the grout and where i put the tape if i peel the tape back it's nice and clean there's no grout in here. It's, it's um, sparkling, the little crystals inside, but here it's not. So that's, it is working. The tape is working. So if you really wanted to keep the whole thing without any grout in the tits, you could tape up the whole tile. And if you scrub real hard, you could still get it out, but when it's real deep, you can't get it out. All right, here's the floor with the grout, platinum color. All the way around, everything is platinum. And I already got the haze off with the microfiber cloth. And it came out really nice. Niche is pretty cool looking. It looks three dimensional. So when you look at it from here, you can see the floor color, the travertine. You can see the design here from the border so it's pretty cool really happy the way it came out and now I did put grout in all of my corners you're not really supposed to but I did it anyway because I can always add I have the caulking um, sanded caulking for tile in the same color platinum that I'll just go and put over that so 
So I can't wait to uh, do the next uh, step, which is probably uh, painting the walls. Just finished two coats of paint. Gallery white is the color by Bear Paints. Satin finish. And it's a uh, different color up top. Uh, I think that's called Ice Sculpture at the top. It's a little more bluish. And this was a little more grayish, but it looks kind of white. They're in the white category. But with tint, they're tinted whites. So next, I still gotta paint this trim here. And the window needs to be painted, but I think I need to take the windows out and sand them. Or at least sand them here before I paint them, because they're kind of rough. All right, I'm installing the crystals in this chandelier. I gotta do this one by one. 120 times and we got to put the little balls on and they actually kind of hurt your fingers trying to get them on. Is that painful to do? Yeah. Hurting your fingers, huh? So you got to take these crystals and put them on the, the clips on and they really hurt your finger. All right, here's the chandelier. I have it on a dimmer, so. Pretty nice. Got this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. 120 piece chandelier set. That's just 120 pieces, but each piece has mini crystals on it. So I don't really know what's the total crystals, but it's quite a bit. All right, just finished hanging some pictures on the wall. All right, got my mirror over here. And this one's actually got a push button right here. You can turn it on and off with right there. And a defrogger, defroster. <laughs> And I put a picture over there, center to the wall. Now this, uh, when I moved, I broke this glass, so we gotta get that fixed, but that's how it's gonna be. And so now, next, I gotta get the tub in, and the toilet, sink, and vanity. I still have to drill a hole here for the toilet, water port, Everything else is ready though. I pre drilled the hole right here. And this is a cheap, I think I paid 10 bucks or something on Amazon. It came with two. Drilled it out just fine. Nice little circle. There you go, you see the hole? I gotta go a little farther. It can't reach all the way down, but yeah, it's quite a deep hole, that's why. But yeah, it went through it like nothing. Natural stone. I'll put a link in the description for this uh, bit right here. It's doing a real good job. Alright, so I'm gonna end this video here guys. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to install a freestanding faucet for this freestanding tub. And I'll have the tub installed and the vanity in the toilet. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.